Well, new tonight, hundreds of people living next to Luke Air Force Base can't drink their water after tests detected high levels of a toxic chemical. Team 12's Bram Resnick has more on the source of the chemical and why one longtime Luke neighbor is worried about her health. The chemical is from toxic firefighting foam that seeped into the ground around Luke Air Force Base for decades. Now a neighbor's wondering whether her breast cancer is linked to the water she's been drinking for 20 years. It was a shock to us today, number one, and it actually scared us. This letter sent to 1,700 customers of Valley Utilities Water Company just east of Luke Air Force Base. It came with this warning. Don't use water for drinking or cooking. All we got was one letter, and that was it. Chemicals in the foam used to fight fires at the base have seeped into wells, the letter says. One water sample exceeded the Environmental Protection Agency's recommended lifetime limit. You never want to suspect that something that should be safe, like water, could be a potential contributor to something that was life-threatening. The potentially toxic water hits very close to home. Winifred Whalen was diagnosed with breast cancer over a year ago. Is this a potential link to the underlying source of water that we've been consuming since we bought and built our house, uh, you know, 18 years ago? Starting Tuesday, the U.S. Air Force will be providing free bottled water to water company customers for the next month. The Air Force says the water remains safe for bathing, doing laundry, and cleaning dishes. So it makes me question, Graham. How long is this going to go? The Air Force didn't provide a timetable for how long the water advisory will last. Representatives of Texas-based Valley Utilities Water could not be reached for comment. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.